What's up, guys? I'm KB Kwan from Taste of Asian Food. Kueh Bahulu is a hugely popular mini sponge cake originated from Malaysia. It is normally served during Hari Raya, Chinese New Year, as a snack for afternoon tea. And it is quite similar to the French Madeleines because they are both small cakes and made with a special mold. Kueh Bahulu has a crispy exterior and a spongy interior. So in this video, I want to show you how to make the basic Kueh Bahulu. Let's get started. Okay, first thing first, measure the flour, the cornstarch, and salt, and mix well. Then sieve the flour mixture and set aside. Crack two eggs into a mixing bowl. The egg I use is about 45 grams each after minus the weight of the shell. If you are using eggs with different size or if you want to multiply the amount of this recipe, please remember to adjust the amount of all the ingredients in the recipe accordingly. Before I start to whip up the eggs, I'm going to do something that is quite specific for making bahulu. This is a special mold to make bahulu. If you don't have this special kueh bahulu molds, you can use Madeleine's pan, egg tart molds, or even muffin cups. It will still taste the same, but it will not produce that traditional look. Brush the mold with generous amount of vegetable oil or melted butter. This is especially important if you use the mold for the first time. This is because the batter will tend to stick to the mold easily as the recipe doesn't have any oil inside. Now heat the mold in the preheated oven at about 200 degrees Celsius for about 15 minutes until the mold becomes very hot. Now let's whip the eggs. I'm using eggs at room temperature and I can whip up the egg quickly. If you put your eggs in the refrigerator, you can warm the bowl of egg mixture in a hot water bath to increase the temperature, which helps to form the mixture and shorten the time required. Add the caster sugar bit by bit in the next one, two minutes until all the sugar is added and incorporated well into the egg mixture. You can add some vanilla or pandan extract to improve the flavor at this juncture, which is entirely your choice. In this recipe, I just want to keep it simple and I just want to make the flavor of the egg come through. Let's take a look of the consistency and the volume of the egg mixture. It starts to thicken and the color starts to turn pale. But it's not quite there yet. So I'll continue whipping the eggs. So when is the end point? It is when I can use the batter to draw a ribbon on the batter and the ribbon will stay and will only vanish after a few seconds. Once the batter has reached this ribbon stage, it is time to add the dry ingredients. Fold about one third of the flour mixture into the egg batter. Fold it lightly and gently until you won't be able to see any flour. Then add the second part of the flour mixture and continue to fold it gently. 
if you fold it forcefully and too fast, you will tend to deflate the batter. Now I add the remaining of the flour and continue folding it gently until it's just enough until you won't be able to see any visible flour. This is how it looks like before I transfer it to the mold. It is pale, it is fluffy, it is thick, and still has a good volume. Since the bahulu is quite small, so the easiest way is to use a piping bag to fill up the mold. The egg batter is a piping bag now. Remove the heated mold from the oven. And the way to go is to fill it up while it is still hot. You need to use the hot mold, or else the cakes will tend to stick to the mold when you dislodge them. Another important thing is make sure that you oil the mold sufficiently, otherwise they will stand to stick to the mold also. Bake the bahulu at about 200 degrees Celsius or 390 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 minutes or until the surface of the bahulu turns golden brown. The easiest way to remove the bahulu from the mold is to use two bamboo skewers. It's quite easy to remove if you use a uh, hot mold and sufficiently oiled. Remove the bahulu from the mold and let it cool. Clean the mold if there's any debris of cakes remains and brush with more oil before adding the next batch of batter to bake again. If the mold is no longer hot enough, please put it back to the oven for a few minutes before adding the batter. The freshly baked bahulu is crusty on the outside. And it is soft and spongy on the inside. Well, I can't resist to take one when it's fresh from the oven. That's how to make the basic Gwei Bahulu and I hope you will like it. Try to make some at home for yourself, for your friends, for your family. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, tap the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. I will see you again in some other similar video soon. Bye for now.